What's going on everyone? This is Austin from Call on Our Shot and we are back for some player props and spreads in the NBA for Thursday, April 22nd. A recap from yesterday, five and three. We had Darius Garland, we had Pascal Siakam, Russell Westbrook, Knicks minus one, and the Heat Spurs under 215 points. And, and, and our three losses, we had Carl Anthony Towns, Jokic, and Chris Paul's assist, which Chris Paul finishes one shy of his over. Could have been six and two. We won't complain about five and three. Plus, our first installment of the Money Line Parlay, per your guys' requests, it cashes. Plus 300 odds. You love to see that. If you're new to the channel, which there were a lot of new subscribers yesterday, shout out to you. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, consider clicking it. We're at over 3,700 subscribers. Let's see if we can hit 3,800 today. You guys have been absolutely killing it. We do daily player props and spreads in the NBA, as well as the MLB, if you want to check out that video posted after this one, as well as our weekly betting tips and tricks videos, which we posted one yesterday. It was talking about placing good value bets or finding a good edge and when to place one or two units. It was a really cool video. I thought I put a lot of work into it. So shout out to all of you guys for the support. It is linked down below or at the end of the video. And you can check out the rest of our betting tips and tricks videos on our homepage. Also, I wanna give a big shout out to Kenneth, Eduardo, and Roy all the way out in the Philippines. They are OG subscribers. They're always here watching the videos, liking, commenting. They're absolutely killing it. Speaking of liking, uh, let's see if we can hit 300 likes today. We've only hit that maybe once, maybe twice on the NBA player props video. I know you guys can do it. Click that like button. Let's get into it. Shout out to last but not least, Chris and Rodney. They do an excellent podcast. And if you want to check out their podcast, I'll also link it below. Talk about all sports, whether it's NBA, it's NFL, golf, boxing, you name it. They talk about it. So go check it out down below as well. Chris and Rodney's podcast. I will link it down there. And last but not least, let's get into these player props of the day. We're going to start with one that wronged us a couple nights ago, but we're hoping he can he can treat us nicely tonight. Eric Bledsoe, under 18 and a half PRAs. Shout out to the, to the ambulance driving by. We're going to keep rolling through it. You got either one or two things is going to happen with Eric Bledsoe tonight. One, he's going to come out angry and destroy this PRA line. Or two, he's not even going to get close. If you didn't watch his last game, Eric Bledsoe was benched. He was benched in the second half of the game. I think around the seven minute mark, didn't play a single minute, didn't even get close. I think he had 10 PRAs. So maybe he comes out angry or maybe they just bench him again. And I'm hoping that they don't play him a lot of minutes or that he's off tonight. If it's worth noting, the last time the Pelicans played the Magic, Eric Bledsoe hit this over, but it took him 45 minutes and that was without Zion, Lon or Z Zion Lonzo and Ingram, all of which will be playing tonight. I'm betting on option number two. Hopefully Stan Van Gundy leans on the younger guys, gets them some more minutes. And the Pelicans have blowout potential in this game. The Magic are not very good. But speaking of a Magic player that's been playing pretty well and has returned from injury, Cole Anthony. We took him, what, on it's maybe Tuesday? We took his over. And, you know, as a disclaimer, I'm making this video early, and there's six games on today. So be sure to do your research and be confident what you're betting. You don't have to force a lot of bets today. There are only six games. And as I make this, I don't even have player props for seven of those, of those 12 teams playing. So really slim pickings out there. I'm sure as more lines roll in, we'll have maybe a better idea, but be sure to do your research. Be confident in what you're betting on. And like I said, you don't have to force anything. It's Thursday, tomorrow, Friday. We always have a ton of NBA games. So maybe you save your money until then to find some better edges. And like I said, we're talking about trying to find the best edge. That's what yesterday's betting tips and tricks video was about. So go check that out. Another shameless plug. We're going in. Cole Anthony. I'm taking this over in PRAs again. I hope it's 26 and a half, maybe 27 and a half at most. Did not have a line for him. For, all, for some reason, only had Wendell Carter Jr.'s line for the Magic. Maybe it's because Terrence Ross and James Ennis could be back tonight, but I'm not going to worry about it. Taking Cole Anthony, assuming he gets his normal 30 minutes per game, which he's seen over the last three games. These are his PRA lines, 30, 29, and 31. So he's hit this pretty easily. I mean, only one or two points clear in it. But the matchup against the Pelicans is about as good as it gets. Over the last 15 games, the Pelicans are giving up 27 points per game. That's the second most in the league. Seven assists per game, or seven rebounds per game, and eight assists per game to opposing point guards. Well, I don't think Cole Anthony's putting up 27, 7, and 8. And if he does, we should probably play the lottery. But I do think he can put up 27 and a half, maybe 20 and eight, eight and a half PRAs at the most. We're locking it in. Take his PRA total. Moving on. And we got one line that makes absolutely no sense, and I'm going to get wrong to picking it. Tara Rozier, over 10 and a half rebounds plus assists. If you don't have rebounds and assists line, I'd look towards the, maybe the assists. Five and a half, over five and a half assists is plus 122 value. But we're talking, I, I would take 10 and a half rebounds and assists if you have it. It's about minus 104. And the line makes no sense. And that's why I think we're going to, we might get wrong. But Terry has been smashing this over, and it hasn't even been close in the last 
four, I believe four games. Sure, Devontae Graham is back, but he was back last game and, and Terry Rozier absolutely destroyed it. You look at his last four games. He got seven rebounds, eight assists in the last game with, with Devontae Graham. That's 15. That easily hits his player prop total. Eight and 10 the game before that, that's 18. Six and 10 before that, 16. And seven and eight, 15. He's had over 15 rebounds and assists in his last four games. And now you're telling me he can't get us 10 and a half at minus 104 value against a Bulls team that gives up the third most assists per game to opposing point guards. Something smells, something smells. And I, I'm going to get wrong picking it. And you know what? I don't care. I'm taking it. I think there's a huge edge here. And maybe there isn't. Maybe Vegas or the sportsbook has just absolutely trapped me. And they caught me. They they just threw out the lure. And they're just were waiting for me to wake up at 5.30 a.m. And they're like, we, we got him, boys. Maybe that's the case. But I'm taking I'm taking Terror Zero. Over 10 and a half rebounds and assists. Say less. And if you're new and you don't have those rebounds and assists line, I'd also like his just assists at plus 122 value over five and a half. He's obviously had that in... I believe four straight games as well. If he's gonna hit the 10 and a half rebounds and assists, I'd be willing to bet he also hits the five and a half assists. We're moving on, do that research. If you wanna be on the wrong to train with me, jump aboard, there's plenty of room. Like I said, only six games to choose from. Here's a long shot play and I don't normally do this. And you can tail it, you can fade it, whatever you want. Anthony Davis, first basket, plus 550 odds. Sure, Anthony Davis is returning to action tonight against the Mavericks, and while I don't expect him to play a full 35 minutes like he normally does, probably only maybe first quarter, first like run, maybe maybe max 20, 24 minutes tonight, but he's returning to action. I assume he starts, and I assume the Lakers will run a play to him the first possession, and I just got to hope him for, to get him a bucket, get him an easy bucket, get him into the swing of things. That's where we're taking it. Anthony Davis, first basket, plus 550. It's crazy odds. I wouldn't put a full unit on it. I might put like a third of a unit to win back, maybe a unit and a half, close to two units. But I think it's got a good chance. First basket plus 550 odds. You're already throwing a dart throw. So, I, you know, this is just my rationale. I think he has a good chance. I just need them to win the tip and to run a play to him. And I think that's what they will too. We're taking it. Anthony Davis, first basket plus 550 odds. Moving on to two spreads and over-unders. We're talking about the Hornets versus the Bulls under 210 points. The total has gone under in nine of Charlotte's last 12 games on the road, which is where they find themselves today. And the total has gone under in eight of Chicago's last 10 games at home. Chicago is at home today. Both teams play very, very slow. And like, like I said, they, do, they don't play a lot. You know, they, they, don't, they don't shoot the ball exceptionally well from three, play super slow. We're locking in the under, under 210 points. The last time these two teams played, sure, they hit the over, but that was with Zach Levine, Gordon Hayward, and all LaMelo Ball all playing in those games. They aren't here tonight. They aren't here to score points. I'm taking the under. I do still think Terry Rozier hits that 10.5 point prop, but that's not, or rebounds and assists prop, but that's not asking for a lot. That's not going to necessarily jeopardize our over under pick here. I think the under has good value. Take the Hornets versus Bulls under 210. Lock it in. Moving on. Last over under of the day. Taking the Milwaukee Bucks. Team total over. Should be about 116, 117 points. I think they can get this. They're, and I would wait until you know if Tobias Harris or Ben Simmons is active tonight because they are much better defenders than their backups, which are normally Furk and Korkmaz. I mean, Matisse Thibel is awesome, but Bucks team total over 117 points. The Bucks are averaging over 121 points per game in the month of April. Just the hunch. I think they get it done tonight. I mean, you got the Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis is back. They should be fully healthy. And I think they can easily get it done tonight, shooting threes against the, the Sixers' backup unit against that is will be starting, assuming Ben Simmons and Tobias Harris are not there. And if Ben Simmons and Tobias Harris do play, probably lean the game total under, just in my opinion. They normally hit the under, these two teams, the Bucks and Sixers, when they match up. But we're taking Milwaukee Bucks, team total over 117 points. Moving on, parlay of the day. We're talking Terry Rozier, 10.5 rebounds and assists. Eric Bledsoe under 18 and a half PRA, and we're taking Bucks money line. I think the Bucks will get a win tonight. They're at home. Sixers are on the road, and like I said, might be without Tobias Harris and Ben Simmons. That will be your parlay of the day. Terry Rozier over 10 and a half rebounds and assists, or assists if you only have that. And Eric Bledsoe PRAs under and Bucks money line. Take those all three together. Now, money line parlay of the daytime, the one that cashed yesterday, and today we got an interesting one. And, I, and you'll understand what I mean. So we've got Bucks and Pelicans. I think those two teams get a win. They're both six, seven-point favorites. I like them tonight. I think they both get the dub. But there are no other teams in the NBA that I think are a lock. I think the Pistons could upset the Spurs. I think the Celtics could upset the Suns. So we got Bucks, Pelicans. Then you're like, Austin, that's only two legs. That's like minus 120 odds. 
Fine, here you go. Dodgers, LA Dodgers, MLB. We're going into the MLB. Dodgers are going to beat the Padres, hopefully. Bruins versus the Sabres. You got four picks, two in the NBA, one in the MLB, and one in the NHL. Who says no? It's plus 270 odds. Bucks, Pelicans, Dodgers, and Bruins, money line. Take it. Maybe we'll hit two in a row. Long shot, money line, parlay of the day. I do think the Bucks and Pelicans will be in there. I think they do win. But I'm throwing in the Pistons and Celtics. It's a long shot parlay, plus 2,200 odds. I think the Pistons and Celtics, I consider picking them against the spread. For some reason, I just feel like they might win. I don't know. It's the NBA. Any team can win any given night. I think the Pistons got a good chance tonight against the Spurs. Or they're going to get blown out by 30, and that's fine. We're okay with it. That's why they're in the long shot money line parlay of the day. Bucks, Pelicans, Pistons, Celtics. Lock it in. Like I said, I think both of those Pistons and Celtics have a good chance. If you're new to the channel, consider clicking that like and subscribe button. Please do that. Also, if you want to see a recap of all of the picks, and I can do them real quick, but they're also on our website, callingourshot.com. Bucks team total over. Hornets, Bulls, under 210. Anthony Davis, a YOLO play. First basket, plus 550. Terry Rozier, arguably my play of the day, over 10 and a half rebounds and assists. Cole Anthony, over hopefully only 27 and a half PRAs. Hopefully that line's not up. Hopefully it's even lower. Eric Bledsoe, under 18 and a half PRAs. Not a lot of lines out there. Not a lot to go with. So be conservative with your units. Unit management, bankroll management. That's also another betting tips and tricks video. You can check that one out. Probably linked below as well. Thanks for all the support. If you want to check out the most recent betting tips and tricks video, I'll put it up right here. Thanks again for all the support. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Peace out.